Hello my friends and how are you doing? I got some amazing AI news for you today and also as you can see I'm back in Bangkok for another six months and now I have even a digital nomad visa where I can stay here for up to five years so in future videos I'm gonna add some videos at the end to show you the amazing things you can see in Thailand but let's get started with the video for today. Gemini 3 is out and this is a game changer that not only changes how we use LLMs but how we use the internet. Now one of the things here you can see in their amazing demo videos is that it makes the internet interactive. Now that is with the Gemini inclusion in the AI mode on Google. Now to be honest right now this is not fully rolled out so the interactive part doesn't really work for me at the moment but in the videos you can already see how cool this is going to be. However of course when you go to Gemini or Google AI Studio you have the Gemini 3 version on there and there you can do very interesting interactive things. For example here I found an image from Chess Fox which has a chess problem here. I dragged it into Gemini Canvas and said turn this into an interactive chess board and help me solve the chess puzzle and it did that. As you can see here I have the board I can play with that. You can see the pieces are even getting removed and I scroll down here I can analyze the position with Gemini, can reset the board, it tells me who has the next turn. I can also have a move lock down here and it even speaks the last moves even though that button doesn't work right now. But anyways all of that has been generated just by text input into the AI and let it code that for me. And of course also you have as I said Google AI Studio where you can do the same thing but of course also more because in there you also have things for example like Nano Banana where you can generate images or you can create conversations with the voice app, animations with video and so on. But as you can also see here Gemini 3 Pro Preview is also included in that and you can also use that for coding. So with that for example you can make some little video games as I did here with this little platform jumper that is kind of fun and yeah you can of course go way deeper with that and some people have done some really really amazing things with that and I want to show you right now. So Linus Eckenstam on Twitter has collected some really amazing examples. I want to show you some of them here. This guy has created a complete theme park here with characters running around a little simulation where you can add new attractions and they generate money over time. All of that like it's a full game. The next user has created a SVG, so a vector file with the help of Gemini 3 which is amazing because I didn't even know you can do that. So just by prompting and adjusting it through prompts it created this image of an Xbox controller as a vector file. That is pretty amazing and you can see it's pretty correct, it's pretty complex, it is very nice with all the different gradients and shadings and reflections in there that is very impressive. Now this user here has generated an app that uses your webcam and also Gemini so you can simulate a job interview. So she's talking to the camera and then Gemini is coming up with interview questions that you, she can answer, she can react to. So there is a live simulation of what an interview would feel like as a preparation. That is very very amazing. Here we have another simulation of a critical energy field. You can see how beautiful that animation is. So Gemini can not just generate the code but also amazing visuals that are really beautiful and also interactive at the same time. And one more thing I want to show you here is that this user has created a full video game with audio narration here. You can go and click through that and play that visual story as a full game. Now that's pretty amazing. You can do that just with vibe coding and of course the images to be generated for the story but to be able to do that without knowledge of any artistic skills or any coding skills is really really amazing. 
But I also want to point out the pricing here because this I found really interesting. One of the beefs I have with the different LLMs out there is that all of them are pretty expensive. Now Gemini has added the Google AI Plus tier. As you can see, you can try it out for two months for four bucks and then afterwards it's eight bucks per month. Now that is a huge improvement over the other offers from OpenAI, from Perplexity and so on who asked more money than that to use an LLM. And this of course is not just the LLM. Now this is also the important part here because Google has this large environment. This also gives you access to the image generation, to the video generation, to the flow interface which is a creative tool for AI filmmaking. It also has a whisk in here. You can see it's a next level image to video generation tool also using VO3. In this case there is 200 monthly credits included for working across flow and whisk and that is a little bit like unclear how much you get from that. It's not that many videos you can generate from that but it's part of what you get, not just the LLM. So that's kind of nice. You also get access to the notebook LLM to use it for research and writing. And you can also have an integration of Gemini inside of Gmail, Docs and more. Now, the interesting part here is also that you get 200 gigabytes of their online storage you can use for your drive, for photos and so on. Now, that is really important because these 200 gigabytes also cost something when you use them without them. And if you have a lot of photos on your Android phone, you probably already have that. So that means that the upgrade here is actually not really that expensive. And when you have a higher tier like Google AI Pro, which costs, as you can see here, 22 bucks per month, you get two terabytes of storage, which is about, I think, 10 bucks per month, which means the AI itself only costs another 12 bucks per month. And that's actually the cheapest thing on the market right now you can have. And this is a really, really powerful AI model. And especially the vibe coding, I would say, is very powerful powerful and easy to use even though you have to fiddle around a little bit to get good solutions. So don't expect that you just write a prompt and get this amazing Pac-Man tiny planet version that another user has generated with Gemini. But by going backward and forward with the AI discussing about the solutions and functions you want to have, you can go pretty far with vibe coding without needing to know any kind of code. And that of course is a very important part of creating and the artistic endeavor with AI. Please follow me on X and share the amazing things you have generated with Vibe Coding so I can share them in one of my next videos. Thanks and see you soon.